Let's do it. And we're live. Hello. How's Hi, it going? Sadia? Hi, Sadia. Sadia, it's where been are you? It's so long since I've, seen, since I've seen you. Hi, yes, Sadia. Tell us where you are. Yeah. And what have you been up to? Where are you speaking from, Shelley? I am in Milan. How about you? Yes, me too. I'm in Milan. Um, I'm currently sitting on my balcony. Nice. I am in my bedroom. Yeah. I suppose I could go to my balcony, but I would have to stand with my laptop. Exactly. What's everyone else doing? What, what have you been up to? Uh, well, we're waiting on comments. <laughs> so far, so far, one person. What, what have you been up to, Shelley? Uh, I've been reading a lot. Oh, crossword puzzles. I love crossword Ooh. puzzles. Really? Yeah, that's how I knew that K2 was the second tallest mountain. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it was from a crossword puzzle. Uh, Vox has a good one. Ah, Sadia's from Bologna. Nice. Bologna is a really pretty city. It is. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I, I would be happy to live there. I think there's a, it's, it's a university city, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah. A university. And there's I a was, big concert hall. Yeah. I was very surprised when I was in Bologna, most people were speaking English. And I was like, wait, what? Where am I? <laughs> Alice, hi. I love crossword puzzles too. I've been reading a lot lately. Oh, nice. Lovely. What crossword puzzles do you like to do? Uh, I like to do the crossword puzzle in Vox. So Vox.com. My, my dad, I always help my dad do the crossword puzzles when I'm at home. He does the ones in the Telegraph. Oh, nice. Those are hard. Oh, really? Yeah, I guess the Vox one is hard too. It's just online, so it's, it's easy to search. Yeah. It's general general knowledge, really. I can only really do the general knowledge ones. I can't do cryptic crosswords. I'm not very good at those. Can you do cryptic ones? No, I'm very bad at those. I don't have enough patience. <laughs> Oops, I already showed that one. Monica, hello, I'm from Nevada. Hi, Monica. <laughs> Sadia, she's very bored and she passes the days doing exercise, exercises, uh, exercising. <laughs> it's nice to hear from you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Phil, do you have a car? Uh, no, I don't have a, a driving license, unfortunately. Do you? Wow, Alice. I don't at the moment. So uh. She does the New York Times ones. Wow, that's that's higher than what I would do. They're so big. <laughs> maybe, maybe soon, maybe soon I will graduate to the New York Times. <laughs> uh, yeah, tell us, do you have do, a car? Yeah, tell us in the comments, do you have a car? Yeah. What type of car? If you don't have a car, maybe you're, uh, someone in your family has a car. Um, my parents both have cars. Um, my dad yeah. has, a, has a blue one. A blue, a blue a blue one. BM, That's the, the make and model. Oh, nice. Yes, I used to drive. Um, I stopped when I moved to Italy. Uh, so I used to have a car, but I sold it. There's not much point driving around Milan. In Milan, no. I do exercise and watch YouTube to improve my English. Great. We're glad to be here for you. <laughs> Good job, Monica. Hello again. Yeah. Stefania, hi. Stefania, I think this is our first time we've met, so nice to meet you. I'm Philip. Hi, Valeria. Yes, my name is Shelley. Hi, Valeria. Ooh, and that's oh, I passed the days reading Harry Potter books and doing exercises. <laughs> you got bitten by something? No, almost. Hmm. Yes, uh, Harry Potter books are quite advanced. 
I realized trying to read uh, the Italian Harry Potter books and I could not for a long time. <laughs> ah. Because it's, it's very advanced English. So Alicia says, I don't have a car because I really don't need it. Sadia says, yes, I have a blue, um, a blue car. So switch, adjective, then adverb. An Alfa Romeo Giulia. That is a car. Yeah. Uh, Stefania says, no, I don't have a car, but I have a driver's license. Sometimes I borrow my brother's car. Nice. And Monica has a hybrid car. Ooh. Yeah. It's more common here, don't you think? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Phil is not a car person. No. Can you tell? <laughs> but I know the car vocabulary. There's a lot of vocabulary when talking about cars. That's true. That's what matters here. It's not no because I know a lot of people with cars who know nothing about cars. They're like, oh, the, the thingy is broken. <laughs> yeah. So this, wow. this car is useful if you are interested in cars or if you want to expand your vocabulary. About or cars. If, yeah. Or maybe yeah. you need to take your car to the garage when you're in a, an English speaking uh, country. Yes, um, Valeria is reading the English version of Harry Potter to improve her English. Good. It's a good and way. It, yeah. J.K. Rowling right now exactly, makes your vocabulary big. Especially reading uh, an original language book, right? Yeah. Not a translation. It's it's how it was written. Yeah. Lots so we were muggles and stuff like that. Lots of <laughs> good words. Yes, we were we were talking about cars because that is our lesson today is car talk. Yes. Because we're talk. car professionals. Oh wow, Stefania is also reading Harry Potter. The fourth book. That's my favorite film. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> I like the fourth book a lot. It's very suspenseful. Yeah, I also enjoyed the fourth book. And then I stopped <laughs> midway through the fifth. I couldn't be could bothered. not read anymore. It was no. too much angst. Yeah. Teen okay. rage. I like the first three books because they're whimsical. What does whimsical mean? Whimsical means fun and light. Okay. I, I know. I was just asking for the students. <laughs> Are you sure, Phil? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, let's skip car talk and let's talk about Harry Potter. Come on. Does does Harry Potter have a car? Uh, in the second book. Uh, well, his, Ron has a, a flying car. That's right. Yep. Well, the, the, Weasleys. <laughs> the Weasleys have a flying car. But, oh, there's uh, a lot of car vocabulary yeah. in the first part of the second Harry Potter book. Uh. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so in this focus activity, we'll talk about uh, the parts of a car, automotive problems, and buying a used car, along with phrasal verbs. Yeah. If it's a flying car. <laughs> <laughs> and they crash it in the weeping, whomping willow. That's right. The whomping willow. Whomp is another word for hit, mm. beat. But it's onomatopoeic. 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 <laughs> Equals. To spell. Sounds like what it is. E.g., whomping, womp, trying to beep, or um, sneeze is. Yawn. Yawn, and cough, kind of cough. Uh-huh. English has a lot. Yeah. Oh, Sadia has never seen Harry Potter. Wow. Well, yeah, that's but... your homework. <laughs> also, your homework. it's they have um British accents all that's the cast. True. So if you want to have um if you want to have an accent like a British person, I would recommend 
watching Harry Potter and repeating what they say, mimicking them. Try yeah. to mimic their accent. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> You're That's a Hagrid's wizard, accent. Harry. <laughs> That's Scottish, I think. Oh no, he's yeah. uh, no, he's not. He's not Scottish, is he? He's um. <laughs> No, it's an English accent. Southwest. But, yeah. So a flying car should be a good solution when there's traffic. Okay. A flying car would be a good solution. Yeah. Conditional would. would. I have a car, but I don't use it when I go to the center of Milan. Right. Mm, yeah. That's why we don't drive. It is not necessary to have a car in Milan. Ah, Alice is also watching a lot of BBC. That's great. Sherlock Holmes. Uh, I love Sherlock Holmes. Doctor Who. Doctor. <laughs> okay, on with the show. On with the show. Yeah. Because the car, the car talk is less interesting than the conversation. So we've talked about question number one, but question number two. Do you ever get car sick? Oh. What does that mean? Do you ever get car sick? It's when you are in a car and you get a headache or you feel... Like you want to vomit, so blah. Like nausea. Oh, on TV they've had um, the Harry Potter films. So in Italy, the last weeks that were all films about Harry Potter. So they have been airing. Uh, the Harry Potter films. The Harry Potter films in Italy. Have they? Yeah. Okay. So, so back to back airing. to car sick. Yeah, um, car sick is when you feel sick when you're in a car. Yeah, you can also be seasick mm -hmm. or homesick. Homesick. If you are missing missing home, if you're missing <laughs> your home country, like now a little bit, feeling a little yes. homesick. Yeah. Oh, I I would. I do get homesick on holidays when I can't yeah. be with family. So do you ever take your car to the mechanic for maintenance or do you prefer it to do it yourself? Mm. So it's a little known fact that Phil is a fantastic mechanic. He loves fixing cars. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can change a tire. I can uh, <laughs> test the motor motor oil level. Uh huh. Uh, I can make it go forward and backwards. <laughs> Break. <laughs> See, he's 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 the best car person. Just exactly. Real okay. expert. Do we have any answers to these questions? Yeah. So number one, I have a hybrid car, a Toyota Yaris. It's a good car. Thank you, Monica. Alice, I used to get car sick when I was a child. Now I only get car sick if I read while I'm inside a moving car. Nice. Me too, but I get car sick if I ride in the car with people who drive very erratically. Or in a mountain. Or in a mountain when the roads are curvy. Bendy is probably a, a better word. Erratic. Erratic is like irregular. It's, um, how would you describe that? Uh, Unexpected. Yeah. So when they go fast and then slow down. Ah, so car sick is when you get sick in a car, when you have a headache or you feel nauseated. Nausea. Yeah. Like you want to vomit. Um, we have a comment from Stefania. Said I always, so she should say, I, oh. I always, I always get, <laughs> I always get car sick. You, you get sick. It means get like become. When my father is not the pilot, because pilot is in an airplane, how do we say Artista? Artista is the driver. Exactly. Okay. I will be back in one second. Oh, yeah. 
I will okay. keep reading comments. So Phil has left probably to blow his nose because he has allergies. He will be back. So uh, when my father is the driver, I get car sick. I get car sick. So you get sick when my father is the driver. So pilot. <laughs> Stefani, I only know how to check and change oil. Nice. That's mostly what you need to know, right? Valeria, I don't understand much about cars, plural. So I always take my car to the mechanic for maintenance. Nice. Um, I don't understand much about cars when it's general um, and it's a countable noun, you make it plural. So that's a great sentence. <laughs> yeah, me too. My father tried to teach me how to change a tire, how to check my oil and how to change car light bulbs. Those are the lights in a car. And, um, it was difficult, I didn't like it, and so I promised myself that if I ever had a car, I would always earn enough money that I could pay someone <laughs> to check my car. Welcome back, Phil. Thank you. Did you blow your nose? I did. <laughs> All right. Um, let's carry on because there's so much vocabulary. We need to. Yeah. I think we need to take do this one with a quicker pace. All right. Really, you're not having fun talking about Harry Potter. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so we have a bunch of vocabulary words pointing to the parts of a car, and this is a little difficult to do. So I'm going to put the first one up there, and then it okay. does it go counterclockwise it goes up this way yeah clock clockwise oh so it goes down this way no no clockwise is is up and around oh sorry you're yeah you're right it goes does it go clockwise the, or the, counterclockwise the direction of a clock <laughs> so this is clockwise Did yes <laughs> counterclockwise is the opposite <laughs> i get turned around at 45 <laughs> ah okay so okay. we have engine, headlight, now we're going to go next around one? Yeah. this way. <laughs> Other words are windshield and windscreen, uh, tire and tire, tire, which are two separate spellings, hood and bonnet, brake, blinker indicator, trunk and boots. And if you can tell us which ones are English, British English, and which ones are American English. Exactly. So we have the engine. Mm -hmm. Be careful of your pronunciation of engine. Uh, it's um, it makes the car go. <laughs> yeah, boom, 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 boom. That's my engine impression. <laughs> that sounds like a broken car. Yeah. <laughs> or a generator. Generators sound like that. Yes. So what is this part? It's the top of the front of the car. Yeah, the cover of the car, the car engine. Ah, yes, actually, no, Sadia, it is the hood. The trunk is in the back. The hood and the bonnet, and tell us which one is American English and which one is British English. <laughs> you have an engine in the house. That's probably, you can hear an engine passing. There was a motorcycle. Uh. <laughs> That's right, hood. Um, next, windshield. Windshield is the glass. also called a windscreen. Which one is American and which one is British English? 
Good question. Yeah. Now, Sadia already has this answer for the back of the car. Trunk. Or boot. Oh, and this one, um, a lot of Italians have trouble with it. I had a class where uh, the person was trying to tell me uh, that his, his tire was flat and he couldn't explain it. They're like, no, le gomme, le gomme. Yes, you have a flat tire. No, 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 le go. <laughs> yes, it's a flat tire. <laughs> he didn't say a fun. rubber? <laughs> no, I had to avoid saying it myself because I thought it was funny. Ah, so windscreen is American. Mm, that's a good guess. Do we have any other guesses? Yep, tires. And then the next one makes a car stop. So go, 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 stop. That's my, that's my impression. <laughs> I love when kids make car noises when they're playing with the car. So it's like, vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> I think it's fun. Yes. Great job, guys. So that means the last one is. And blinker or indicator. I call that a turn signal. Really? So blinker indicator or turn signal. Okay, so windshield. I say windshield. What do you say? Yeah, I say windshield. Ah. So we <laughs> or maybe this one. This one is not American or British. It's just you can you can call it windshield or windscreen. Or windscreen, yeah. It's it's usually called wind windshield in in the United States anyway. Okay. Maybe I say windscreen then. Never mind. Yeah, this is our famous mechanic, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Um, hood or bonnet? Which one do you say? I say a bonnet. I say hood. What's, what's under the bonnet? Ah, the engine. Let's, let's open the bonnet. Yeah, the engine. <laughs> let's open the bonnet. I get confused between bonnet and boot because to me they're nonsense words. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, let's see what's a in bonnet? the bonnet. And I'm like, but the engine is having trouble, not the trunk. What, why do you want to open the trunk? <laughs> I mean, it's a stupid name, trunk. Exactly. No, the trunk is where you keep your suitcases or the trunk. Boot. It's the boot. No, the boot is what you wear on your foot. No, a trunk is belongs to an elephant. A trunk is where you keep your clothes. How do you spell tire? Uh, with an I. Really? Ugh. Simplified English. Yes. So uh, a trunk in English, in American English, we call it a trunk because a trunk is a type, a large piece of luggage, very large. So the trunk of a car is where you would keep a lot of things. Um, then we have blinker indicator and turn signal. Yeah. Great job on the vocabulary. Let's move forward to some car problems. So match each car part to its common problem. So tell us in the comments, a windshield, headlight, engine, tire, car, hood, break down, crack, break, a flat tire, slash blowout, burnout, dent, overheat. Uh, Phil has left for a second to blow his nose. He has allergies.
Oh, I see some great comments already. Sadia, crack. Stefania, windshield, crack. Yes, you can crack your windshield or break. Next. Hmm, what breaks down? Yes, crack refers. Crack to refer to windshield or crack refers to windshield. Valeria, windshield, crack and break. The engine. So we have overheat for the third one. A headlight is the light in the front of a car. All right, do we have any guesses for the second one? A headlight, so this is the front of a car. It's very broken. What does a light bulb do when it stops working? That's your hint. What does a light bulb do when it stops working? We call it. There we go. Headlights burn out. Great job, guys. Okay, and then the third one we have an answer to already. The engine overheats. It gets hot. Now tires. How you feeling, Phil? Full of allergies. I'm really suffering from this hay fever. It's bad this year. Yeah. I took some medicine so <laughs> I may have when, to leave again yeah when I run out of medicine it's going to be bad <laughs> so headlines burn out engines overheat great job guys and a tire you get a a flat tire a flat tire next one car your car can break down excellent So I'd say this car was in an accident. It is broken down. And a hood. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. Yep, break down. Watch your spelling. A hood can be dented. So Phil, can you explain a dent? Uh, yeah. Many Italians will know this one. It's when your car has, um, or when you when you knock or bump your car, it has um, like a, it goes inside. It's a scratch, or a, well, a scratch is more like this. Anything dented? But a dent is is where you can see that somebody has knocked your car somebody has bumped into your car ah How it's a slight hollow mm. so it's like um the surface of a car and then when you dent it you hit it with something and then it goes in so you see a lot of cars with dents on them here let's see a picture dented car oh these are great pictures okay i'm going to take this down Start screen. A dented car. These are dents, guys. Oh, yes, there we go. They're really big ones. Oh, yeah. Except for this one, it's very small. So let's stop sharing that. Go back to our slides. Twenty more minutes, Phil. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> Sorry. No. Uh, all right. Great job, guys. 
Have you ever experienced these car problems? What happened and how did you resolve them? Uh, I have had each one of these happen. Really? Each one. Because they're common car problems. So, and I had been driving for 15 years. I drove for 15 years in the United States when I lived there. So, oh, wow. I've had a lot of car trouble. Once the engine fell out of my car. It fell out of your car? Yes. It How can fell it fall out. out of the car? I have no clue. Just one second it was fine. The next second there was a hole in it. Ah. Oh, it like it went through the bottom of the car? Yeah. A part of the engine just broke off. And I never saw it fall. I never saw what oh. happened to it or how long I was driving with it. And that um, dangerous. it was very dangerous. Yes. And then my car after that overheated. Uh, I had a lot of cracked windshields because of um, lots of pebbles. Pebbles are tiny rocks that um, tires would kick up into my windshield and crack it. <laughs> I've collected them all. Yeah. Hey, we have a winner. <laughs> I've had a lot of flat tires. Um, and I just call someone. I don't do it myself. Has anybody else had, had any problems? Yeah. Tell us in the comments. Uh, an experience, a bad experience. Yeah, tell us had. in the comments. Yeah. Have you ever had a bad experience? Have you experienced car problems? I've had a flat tire on my bicycle. <laughs> That's not it's the, the same. same, is it? Yeah. Um, I learned how to repair um, bicycle tires, but never car tires. Yes, uh. Monica. A dent means when you have an accident and car indentation. Yeah. So that was a good word, actually, Monica. So accident in Italian is incidente. They're they're not. They're another false friend. Another false friend. Yeah. We should have a a sound effect or a jingle uh, where there's a false friend. Oh. Da, 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 da. And there's a false friend. friend, false friend. <laughs> we'll we'll make it up as we go along. How many more webinars do I have with you? <laughs> Today none. Today none. Okay. Um, anybody? Any? Any? Okay. Ah, my windshield have... crack during Grandine is hail. Yeah. I cracked my windshield during the hailstorm or when it hailed. Yeah. Um, Valadia said, I did a, a dent on my door's car. So I made a dent. Remember, make is like uh, fair uh -huh. to create. I made a dent in my door's car when I had just taken the driving license. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. We don't take our driving license. What do we do? We the get driver test or receive. So, uh, I had just gotten. I I just gotten my driving license or yeah received it. Um, Stefania says some years ago I was going to the station to catch the train when a tire. Oh, past tense of blow. What's the past tense of blow? It's like fly or uh, grow. It's irregular. Yeah, it's irregular. So good guess. Blue. My tire blew out. B L E W. Excuse me. There we go. It's great comments. Man, I've had too many car problems, Phil. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, let's move on. No, thank you, Stefania. <laughs> Ah, our dialogue. Okay, um, I will be the client. You can be our famous mechanic. Got it. All right, good at, afternoon. At the shop. 
at the so shop. At the shop. Where's, what does that mean? I've taken, I've taken my car to the shop. Ah. Oh, the the size of the the size of the screen has changed. For you or for everyone? For me. I don't know for everyone. Can you... Has the, has the screen changed? Can I size? zoom? Oh, I can zoom. <gasps> yeah. I can zoom. Yes, yes. <laughs> but this yes, yes, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. If you zoom out, I can see it. Huh. I have... I got out of the way because of a hornet. 40, 40 la, la slada. I think I went. Oh, I went off the yeah. road. Uh, yeah, off the road. Oh, no, Monica. I'm glad you're okay, though. Was your car okay? <gasps> All right. So, um, good afternoon. I'm having some car troubles. Could you take a look? Uh, I can't. I can't see. <laughs> I can only see. Um, the first part. Now, if you if you zoom out, I can probably see it. There we go. Now, of course. What seems to be the problem? <laughs> okay, we're back. Uh, I have a flat tire. I see. Anything else? <laughs> um, while I was driving the other day, I noticed the engine was overheating. All right, let's take a look. Would you mind opening the bonnet? <gasps> Oh, popping the hood. Come on. No problem. Uh, when was the last time you, you received an MOT? I'm sorry, what? An MOT. <laughs> an MOT? Yeah. You mean a tune-up? No, nope, an MOT. <laughs> oh, it must have been six months ago. Okay. I what, can't wait. see any more of the text. Maybe you read the rest, Shelley. Ah, Okay. Um, yikes, it looks like your car is running low on oil. This is my fill face. Yikes, it looks like your car is running low on oil. <laughs> um, can you top it up? Sure thing. Give me a few minutes and your car will be running like a dream. And the tire? Mm, it looks like you've run over a nail. I can fix that too. Okay. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, no. <laughs> Her car was a disaster. Oh, no, Monica. Uh, yes, I once had a spider. It was big. It was like this big in my car. And I cried because <laughs> there was no place that I could stop my car until I got home. And I was crying because I was so afraid. <laughs> Oh, no. Yes. If she is typing now, don't forget the subject. I think she's okay. <laughs> Sorry, is funny. Uh, okay, so what did you say? So popping the hood is equal to what? Flipping um, the bonnet? Op opening the bonnet. Or you can say pop, pop the bonnet open, maybe. Pop it open. Pop, pop the bonnet. So pop, pop the hood is open. Onomatopoeic, isn't it? Pop. Uh, um, tune up, you called it an MOT? Yeah, MOT. Yeah, to get an MOT. MOT stands for method of tune. Oh my god, <laughs> let me shut the window really quick. I don't hear anything, but I'm a little bit deaf. Um, to get an MOT, MOT does not, uh, is not an acronym for anything. Um, MOT is that. MOT is not an acronym. We just call it an MOT. What? It's not an. <laughs> yeah, MOT. Um, it is Marion Thames. Okay. Um, but what does it mean to get an MOT? It means ah. to to check your car to um, to, to make sure everything is running properly. So they yeah. check the lights, the blinkers. Yeah. To make sure they're all. Um, to make sure they haven't burnt out. Mm -hmm. um, they check uh, the tires and make sure that there's enough air pressure. <laughs> no, open it. I'm feeling in Milan. <laughs> so 
someone is cutting the grass. They are mowing oh. the lawn. <laughs> I see. We also say mowing the lawn. They mean mm. the same things. That's probably why my allergies aren't so bad because someone is outside cutting the grass. <laughs> What other words do we have? Running low on oil? To, to run have... low. Oh, I'm running low on milk at the moment. Maybe, maybe we can go to the shops later. So it means to, to have little remaining. Have oh, we're running, mean... we're running low on time. time? Oh, we have 10 minutes. <laughs> Let's see the next slide since well, we're we here. Usually we say to run out, run out of run out of time we're running we're out of time. Ah, that's true we're running ah oh, you yeah. also run over a nail yeah what does that mean um it means to to hit something in the car and to go over it yes so when you run over a nail is what you hammer into a wall mm -hmm. it's a coyote. How, how do you say uh, coyote uh. like um, a clove is a coyote di garofano Right. It's a nail from anyway. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a nail. So you run over a nail. Your um, run over is to move to hit something with your car. Ah, and here we were just discussing this. So tell us in the comments what do you think these words mean? To take a look, to pop the hood, a tune up, to be running low, to top up, to run like a dream to run over and an accident. Oh, we've gone up through most of these, haven't we? Yeah, suddenly I only I only see half this <laughs> half the page you still. Yeah. Did you zoom? Hang on. Um, Did you accidentally zoom by like doing this? No, no. You I think you zoomed in earlier and you didn't ah. zoom back out all the way. No, I've zoomed out all the way. Whoops. Ah. I'm out. That's weird. Why did it change like that? Never mind. I don't need to see it anyway. All right. I'm going to just put the definitions up. Mm. So to take a look is to examine something. <laughs> well, we watch Phil. <laughs> to pop the hood is to open the hood or bonnet. A tune-up is regular maintenance check of your car. To be running low is to be nearly empty. To top up. To top up is to fill or replenish. To run like a dream. To function very well. To run over is to, <laughs> to drive over something. And an accident is when you hit something with your car. Now, I just got a text message from a Mr. Phil. It's just showing you the... Weird. Yeah. I don't know why okay. it's like that. <laughs> it's even worse. Better? Better now? <laughs> uh, it's just the same. Oh, okay. That's so strange. It makes a funny noise. Does that mean funny like ha-ha? Funny. Yeah, mm. and we had some great answers, guys. Good job. So it makes a funny noise. I think funny is like strange. Funny can mean strange. So it makes mm -hmm. a strange noise. And what does it mean when something is um, enjoyable? That is fun. Yeah, something enjoyable is fun. Okay. <laughs> Are you enjoying the Zoom? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Phil can't see the screen. So if you can see this. That's what I see. He doesn't like, see uh, anything. No, just a... Uh, That's a so piece, strange. A piece of the slide. Just a part here. I'm going to do this. Better? Oh, yeah. That's better. Yay. I am the best IT person. You're a wizard. <laughs> I'm a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. Shelley. 
Oh, goodness. Oh, we're having too much fun now. Um, so you're visiting a mechanic. Explain what the problem is and how it happened. What repairs have to be made? A funny noise. Do we have to make funny noises? I'm Maybe. gonna I'm gonna keep going. So example, a rock hit my windshield about a week ago. Now there's a huge crack. Oh. Not good. So here are the parts of the car again. Problems you can have with them. Remember overheating, breaking down. You can have a flat or a blowout. A blowout is when your tire blows up. It's very dangerous. What does it mean if it breaks down? Um, breaks down, your engine won't start usually. No, it just completely stops. Just does not move. Doesn't go. Your okay. car becomes a brick. Like when my mom put um, uh, petrol in a diesel car. Yeah. That would stop it very quickly. Yeah. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, I bet she was upset by that. Yeah, bless her. <laughs> yes, you have to pay attention to the stickers on a car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so right. a rock hit my windshield about a week ago. Now there is a huge crack. Um, what repairs have to be made? Ah, recently, while I was driving my car, brake, past tense is broke. Broke. Exactly, Monica. Great correction. Yeah, my car broke down. And uh, a comma there as well. Good. Yes. Well done, Monica. My car All broke right. down. Oh. So, um, well, she should take it to the shop. Yeah, she should have her windshield replaced. Yeah. Because if your crack is over the size of um, a 10 euro bill, shall we say, it should be replaced. If it is a small crack, you might be able to have it repaired. All right, if you press play, there might be another. There might be more. Oh, there is more. more yeah. There we go. There are the problems that you can have with the car, and I'm going to press it again. So the problem, tune up, no problem. I'll fix, replace, and repair. All right. So do you want to be the mechanic or the or the person with the, the driver, Shelly? Maybe oh, you should I'll be, be the, the driver. driver. I have oh. a lot of problems. Um, so, Phil. Hi there. Hi. Oh, you don't know my Hi. name. I mean, it's oh, not sorry. Phil. It's, uh, hello. Hello, sir. It's Mr. Mechanic. Ah, hello, Mr. Mechanic. Hello. Uh, how are you today? I'm I'm very well. Well, a little oh, bit. Fantastic. So um, I have a problem with my car. The uh, the blinker on the left side has burnt out. The blinker has burnt out. Hmm. So the blinker is the headlight. I know this. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's burnt out. Okay. So um, no problem. Uh, we'll have to replace the the headlights, no, the indicator. Sorry, not the headlights. <laughs> we'll have to replace the indicator, the blinker, and then we'll we'll give it back to you in in a few days. A few days? You're just changing a light bulb. Yeah, I know. We we we're very busy. Ah, do you sell the bulbs? Um, just the light bulb. Yeah, you can buy a, a new bulb from us. Great, I would like to do that, please. Okay, that will cost 100 euros. Um, can you give me the part number? I will go to another place. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good question. And how much does it cost? Oh, yes, good. So if you want to ask about what you need from, uh, they, there are stores that sell car parts. They will ask you the, um, the part number. Uh, that is like the specific light bulb has a part number, the specific, uh, each component of a car, each part of a car has a number. And you can get that so you can buy another part or. Ah. My car 
has a long braking. Can you take a look? So you mean um, your car isn't is braking slowly? Mm hmm. Or it isn't braking properly. My car has uh, so long braking. I wonder the, the brakes don't work. Also, the brakes. We we would say the brakes don't work. The brakes are slippery. Mm -hmm. If they don't stop the car effectively and you keep going, the brakes are slippery. The brake pads have worn down. That's when, so if you have a specific, or all types of brakes, it's braking slowly. The brakes are slippery. Brake pads have worn down. Brake pads, um, the brake pads wear down because they stop your car like this or like this. And they wear down over time. To wear down is, how do you wear down, Phil? Um, with lots of friction. Yeah, to wear down. Mm -hmm. um, means to to make make it disappear through too much friction. Through friction, through yeah. You can also wear down a person <laughs> by being annoying. Yeah. Okay. Right. So yeah. let's wrap up today's lesson. Right. Um, lots and lots of new vocabulary. Exactly. Like when a car completely stops. Uh, breakdown. Or uh, um, when you you hit something and then you it, you go over it in your car. Ah, you run over mm -hmm. it. And um, when your car goes off the road, have an accident. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Or we go off the road. I guess I said the answer. Darn. <laughs> oh, Phil's disappeared. No. Where'd you go, Phil? I don't know. Where did you go? I don't know. Okay, ask You're me back. another. Um, oh, I've, I, I've lost the vocabulary. The okay, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> bye, Monica. If you hit a car, you make mm -hmm. a dent. Okay. Um, if you use your lights too much, they will burn out. Okay. Ah, um, your windshield when a rock hits it. Mm hmm. Um, eh. Ah, brake problem. And, um, rum, 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 rum. Engine. Engine. Be careful of your pro pronunciation of that. Engine. Engine. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Wonderful work. Bye. Yes, it was a lot of fun. It was so nice to have you. Bye, everyone.